Hi there, I'm Ben and these are the games we'll be getting as part of PlayStation Plus for the month of September 2020. As always, I'll be taking a look at the two games on offer from a Trophy Hunter's perspective, letting you know what to expect when going for the Platinum for each game. Right, let's take a look at the offerings. First up this month is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds or PUBG if you like. That's two Battle Royale games in a row with us getting Fall Guys last month which is now the most downloaded PlayStation Plus game of all time. <sighs> PUBG is obviously a little different to Fall Guys, it's more of a traditional Battle Royale game. I don't think I actually need to tell you what PUBG is about, we all know it and you either love it or hate it. But I'll do it anyway. 100 players parachute in, you win if you're the last man or team standing. Not really the sort of game us trophy hunters usually gravitate towards, to be honest. And once you see the trophy list, that's not going to convince you to play it either. Combine that with very buggy trophies and I think this game is going to be a hard pass for most people. If that's still not enough to put you off, you're going to be arriving extremely late to the party. Most players on this game are practically pros now, so winning a game, hell even getting a kill, is not going to be easy. The trophy list itself is very simple, basically win 10 games and kill 1000 players. Those are your top 2 trophies, the rest are just variations of these 2 trophies that you'll get along the way. Kills with grenades, kills with shotguns, kills with a frying pan, you know the standard stuff. So yes, if you're going for the Platinum with this one, I wish you the best of luck, but you won't be seeing me out there. Hey, do you want another game that's going to take you about 150 hours to Platinum? You got it. Here's Street Fighter V. This really isn't a good month if you were hoping to get some games that you could Platinum. Street Fighter V may actually be worse than PUBG when it comes to trophies. Let me just say this, win 300 ranked matches online, obviously. We all know what ranked means tricky boosting sessions. The good news is you'll always need to be connected online even when you're playing single player stuff because if you don't your progress won't save and you won't unlock the trophies. I mean there's really not much more to say, the trophy list is exactly what you'd expect. Get X amount of wins in various modes, perform X amount of certain moves and that's about it. I haven't played Street Fighter since Street Fighter 2 on the SNES, 3 was on the Dreamcast I think and 4 had an equally painful trophy list and I'm not going to touch this one either. It's a shame because I always liked listening to Ryu and his northern greeting to his best friend, Haruken. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Anyway, that's it for this month. Pretty damn poor, I'm sure you'll agree. I won't be covering either of these games and will instead be finishing Control's DLC and hoping Avengers isn't as bland as it looks. Right, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the same time next month for October's games.